All right, folks, in this video, I'm reviewing the Doe Investments app. If you've seen my video on the 11 brokerages giving away free stocks right now, you'll recall that Doe is one of them. If you'd like to get a free stock from Doe, use my referral link in the description below to create your Doe account. I'd be very grateful if you did that. Thank you very much. But now, let's get into the review of the Doe app first. Let's start with the history and the vision of this app. Doe was founded in 2018 by Victor Jones, who was the former director of trading and operations at TD Ameritrade. And if you look at the Doe blog, Victor, Victor lays out his manifesto in the first blog post, pointing out that 160 million Americans play the lottery each year, but only 54 million invest. He points out that we'll spend five and a half years of our lives on average on social media but hardly any on investing for the future. So his goal with Doe is to be the tall, good-looking, 140-plus IQ investing app and wants to have at least 1 million users by 2023. So that's a lofty goal. How does Doe measure up? Well, let's start with an easy metric cost. Doe is free. No commissions on stock trades. No commissions on options trades. No, minimum, no minimum account balances. Um, so they definitely check the box on that. But of course, that is pretty much par for the course these days for investing apps. So now let's talk about the interface itself. The interface is pretty simple. When you open the app, you're greeted by the home screen, which basically has a chart of your portfolio's performance. Above that, you can see your account balance, how your account performed the previous trading day or the last trading day, uh, how much cash you have available to trade. So it's pretty straightforward. If you have any free stock rewards from referrals, you'll see that underneath the chart. And then if you scroll down to the bottom of the home screen, I call it the home screen, uh, you'll see the stocks you've invested in. These are not recommendations, by the way. These are just the free stocks that Doe has given me so far. Now, it's a pretty decent interface. It, it looks good. It's simple. It's not confusing. Now, how do you buy a stock? That wasn't completely obvious at first. To buy a stock, you click the magnifying glass in the upper right. You search for a stock symbol. For example, VT, Vanguard, Total, World Stock, uh, Index Fund ETF. Again, not a recommendation. This is just the Vanguard ETF closest to the $100 <laughs> uh, in price, which was my initial deposit into Doe that I would be open to buying anyway. Anyway, if you click it, and then at the bottom you see Buy VT, there's also Options Trading, which is an entirely different animal. Um, if you were to click Options, you could get into that. But let's stick with just a plain old stock transaction for now. You would click Buy, put your limit price which is the highest possible price you'd be willing to accept for the stock. You can also do a market order. Uh, you put the number of shares when the order is good until canceled or end of day. And then at the bottom of the screen, you swipe right to complete your purchase. Okay, so that's how you buy a stock and dough. All right, let's go back to the magnifying glass screen. If you were to just click the magnifying glass and not type a symbol at the top, uh, you would see the dough newsfeed. Uh, that's what I call it anyway. It shows you your recently searched securities, under what's moving, you see stocks with big price increases or decreases. There are a lot of links to those YouTube videos. You can click one of the videos and watch it in the app. I mean, there's a lot on this news feed. Um, lockdown list, list of stocks whose business model, you know, lends them to succeeding during lockdowns and whatnot. Um, new releases, which means stocks that recently IPO, there's more videos. That's basically it. That's the Doe app. If you go back to the home screen and click the hamburger menu on the upper left, you'll see the basic other functionalities, transfer funds, smooth cash in and out of dough. History is just your account history, uh, you know, your transfers, your stock purchases, your stock sales. Documents is where your monthly statements, trade confirmations, and tax documents will live. Support has an FAQ as well as a support chat function. And then there's settings. You can change uh, if you want to view the app in dark mode, which is the default or light mode or light mode when the market is open and dark mode when it's closed. And there are some other options in here for more advanced trading features. Um, that's pretty much it. That's Doe. But just real quick though, let's talk about Doe Premium, which you can access under settings. This is basically margin trading, which basically means borrowing funds from the brokerage, in this case Doe, to buy even more stock than you could buy just with the cash you have unborrowed, right? Uh, you become eligible for this feature once your account balances reaches at least $2,000. Um, at that point, you have two to one buying power. Margin rates range from 5% to 8%, depending on how much you borrow. I will remind you that investing carries inherent risks, and borrowing to invest amplifies those risks. Of course, it also amplifies your potential for reward. You have been warned. So to wrap up, what do I think of Doe? Let's just go over some pros and cons really quick. Pro number one, Doe is free, commission-free trading, but like I said, that's pretty much standard fare these days. 
But number two, the interface is simple and easy to use. It doesn't weigh you down with a ton of bells and whistles. Some might find it too simple though, as I'll discuss in the cons. Pro number three, no minimum balance. Pro number four, you get a free stock for joining. So that's obviously awesome. You can use my referral code in the description below to create your Doe account and you'll get a free stock. Now let's talk some cons. Con number one, IRAs are not supported at this time. The only kind of account you can open at Doe is currently a taxable brokerage account. Con number two, no desktop version. I know some people, for whatever reason, they like to do their investing on their desktop, and I get it. I mean, I'm nominally more efficient on the desktop than on my phone as well. So if that's you, unfortunately, Doe does not have a desktop version at this time. You can't even open up an account on desktop. Finally, con number three, limited market data and research tools. If you're accustomed to other platforms that have stock screeners, fund screeners, in the moment stock data for your watch list, all there on your computer screen, then unfortunately you won't find that at Doe. And part of that is that there's no desktop version. So at the end of the day, if you're just looking for a basic trading app, you don't need all the charts, you don't need all the bells and whistles, and you want a free stock, Doe gets the job done. Probably the closest competitors to Doe in terms of similarities are Weeble and Robinhood. I'll be honest, Doe is not as robust as Weeble. Um, and unlike both Weeble and Robinhood, Doe does not offer desktop trading. But I know there are people out there watching this who don't like Robinhood, right? Because of the recent negative publicity uh, about the meme stocks. And there are people who shy away from Weeble because it has Chinese ownership. Okay, I'm not gonna speak to those issues. So what am I saying? If you have basic trading needs, and either you don't want to feed the Weeble and or Robinhood machines and or you just want to support the little guy here, sure, create a Doe account and get that free stock. That said, please do your research on other brokerages, of course, uh, to see what best fits your investing style. On the screen that follows, you'll see a link to my review of M1 Finance, which is one of my absolute favorite brokerages out there for you set it and forget it investors like me. And you'll also see a link to my video telling you all the brokerages giving away free stock right now. So be sure to check those videos out and I will see you over there. Bye-bye.